years of age. He's shorter than Ellis. He'll be outreached. Chunkier. He's the slugger. He'll be in there working away at the body. Good chest size, Tim. 90 centimetres, good chest, which means he's got good power up top. And he'll be able to use that weight uh, from his chest and the shoulders when he's throwing his punches. And it seemed that as he came into the ring, the booze probably just outweighed the cheers. He's been a hero here in Melbourne because uh, he was one of the stalwarts for such a long time. But now a new hero has emerged. And I uh, suppose, as in most sports, Joe Bugner, uh, supporters can be a little fickle. Very fickle. And don't I know it coming from London. Um, I think it's amazing. Fans, as you say, are quite fickle, but they always love a champion. And uh, whoever wins we tonight to ring the will be loved and will be uh, admired for his abilities and achievements. Welcome back, Mike Cusimano. Welcome back to Melbourne, Australia. With the chairman of the Professional Boxing Control Board of Victoria, Mr. Kevin Hayes. The gloves have been sealed. Yes, the gloves were sealed in that box yesterday. Uh, selection was made uh, for the two boxes, and the gloves were sealed uh, so that uh, nobody could get it, uh, at them, do anything with them. Uh, Kevin Hayes, of course, is the uh, chairman of York. the Boxing Commission in Victoria, and he is one of the supervisors of uh, this contest. And the yes, Mike. Um, Kusumata Mana is the uh, International Boxing Federation representative here uh, tonight. Mr. Kusumano is uh, from the United States of America, and he, with uh, Kevin Hayes, will be supervising tonight's contest. They will be acting as the commission at the end of each round when uh, the judges' cards are collected by the referee from each of the three judges. They will be handed to those two commissions. From the blue corner. This is called the waiting game, where the challenger always has to sweat it out till the, the champion comes in, and uh, it can be sometimes nerve-wracking, I must admit. Okay, you've got a minute to spare. Yes, must be nerve-wracking for uh, Barry Michael. He's first into the ring, and he's going to be there for some minutes uh, before Les Reales appears. Exactly. I remember uh, Muhammad Ali doing this to me, and uh, it does uh, get to you quite a bit. But I'll tell you what, Tim, we were very surprised when we saw both fighters... Uh, earlier on in their dressing rooms and how calm and peaceful they were. I know that deep inside they were feeling the tension, but they seemed very relaxed and um, very keyed up. So I think we're going to be in for a great show tonight. Oh, we certainly are. Uh, Barry Michael, they're looking perhaps, uh, if anything, just a little bit less calm than he was in the dressing room, uh, Joe. Yes, his eyes are yes. very bright now, and they look, you watch the glare in him. Uh, he's uh, psyching himself up to the point where he's going to be like a bullet. Yes, must be a very, very tense situation for uh, Barry Michael in particular. Uh, Lester Ellis has been there before. He's had two title fights uh, this year. He won the championship, of course. Uh, in uh, February this year from Juan Kim Yu of Korea and he defended the title only two months later in April against Rod uh, Sequenin of the Philippines. They were two pretty tough contests Certainly but he's had that experience. He's been in that ring a couple of times this year in World Championship contests. And I was very, very impressed with Lester because I must say that after the second round in his last defense I thought you know, the, uh, the end of the fight was coming. But he came back and he proved himself and, he's, and he knocked the bloke out. And, it, and that's a mark of a great champion. Certainly is. Of course, uh, Barry Michael's last performance in this ring at Festival Hall was uh, in February when he regained the Commonwealth uh, lightweight title uh, in uh, his contest with Graham Brook, uh, another Melbourne boy, and a uh, very promising young lad too. But uh, Barry Michael was very, very impressive on that occasion. He won it uh, well indeed. I think, I think the Australian public, especially the, the fans of boxing, will, will realise very shortly that Australia has some tremendous talent as far as world boxing is concerned, and it's just a matter of time for them to be brought out into the open. And tonight's a great example. Waiting for the champion and Michael waiting for the champion still. I think if the roles were reversed and the less experienced fighter was the one 
standing in the ring, perhaps the effect might be greater. But Michael, he's an unflappable and a charismatic figure. He's always got plenty to say for himself. Uh, from a media point of view, he's wonderful copy. He's uh, a chatty little fellow, very articulate. He's got his matriculation. Uh, he's no mug, as uh, we could perhaps put it in colloquial terms. He, he knows how to handle himself in the ring. He also knows how to handle himself out of it. Just talking about the way in which the fight might run, they've both shown they can absorb punishment. Uh, as you mentioned, Ellis against Sequinan. And about four years ago, I interviewed Barry Michael out at his home after he'd uh, had a fight against Al Earthquake Carter. And uh, Carter hit Michael with everything but uh, the kitchen sink in about the eighth round of a ten-rounder. And... Um, Michael took it after being in tremendous trouble and um, he, he came back and took the fight on points. Carter was a world-rated fighter who subsequently took his own life, unfortunately, as his life went downhill. But um, Yes, I read about that in the papers. It was a tragic, uh, tragic affair. Michael certainly can soak it up. He's tough and uh, courageous. No doubting that, but uh, there's no doubting the courage of the champion as well. I think the beautiful thing about this evening, Tim, is that whatever happens... Both men have to be praised for their abilities to get to the point that they are at. And uh, Lester Ellis has been a great champion that he is. And Barry Michaels to achieve it and at last get to the point where he could win the title. And um, in my opinion, whoever wins, they're, to me, they're both champions. Perhaps we could uh, just have a look briefly at Barry Michaels' record. He's had 57 professional fights. And he's won 47 of those. He's drawn two, and uh, he's lost eight of his 57 contests. Now, he's won 15 of those by knockout, and that's uh, a knockout rate of 28%. Lester Ellis, on the other hand, uh, much less experienced, has had 16 contests, but he's won all 16, and he's won 12 of those by knockout, and that's a knockout rate of 75%. It sounds good. It sounds very good, John, on paper. Yes. But unfortunately, a lot has to do with the caliber of fighters that you're actually uh, fighting against. So uh, those kind of statistics sound very... I have a, a similar record like that, almost a 60% uh, record. But a lot of my opponents were, um, <coughs> you know, say no more. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, well, in his career, of course, uh, Barry Michael has uh, had some very good contests. He's fought some uh, pretty good boys from around the world. And He's been so close to a world championship contest uh, on uh, a number of occasions, but uh, it just hasn't happened for him. He's tried so hard to get there. He was quoted in The Australian a couple of days ago as saying he's gone and fought in places where you wouldn't take a dog to try and get that tilt at the world title. Uh, in the last year or 18 months, he's been in Hawaii and fought a couple of times. He's been to Jakarta. He feels he got uh, robbed unmercifully there. He was given a draw and a fight which he felt he won, but uh, we're not far away now, I don't think, from the entry of the champion, Lester Ellis. And he will get a tremendous reception. Here's the champion. The excitement is really building up in the stadium now. You can feel the people are really for them both. It's a, a marvellous feeling for both fighters. What a great reception to the world champion, the IBF world champion, Lester Ellis. There seems to be a slight animosity between the two men. I think it's for the cameras. <laughs> I think so. Ellis, 10 years younger, taller, longer reach, not as big around the chest. Taller, punches harder probably, more quickly, and faster on his feet. Well, he has good weight, even though he's not quite uh, as big as, as Barry Michael around the chest. He still has good weight up there in the chest and the shoulders, and his biceps are as big as uh, his opponents. An enormous introduction uh, and reception for Joe Booker from the crowd at Festival Hall. Joe, very nice. Thank you. It's, uh, it's lovely to be here tonight working for ABC. Nice to have you with us, Joe. 
You know what this is all about. You've been uh, in this sort of situation in the ring. And out of it, uh, Joe, you were telling me you called the shots for the BBC in the uh, Jerry Cooney, Larry Holmes heavyweight fight. That's right. I was uh, privileged to do that. And uh, I believe that Larry Holmes is a very, very underrated heavyweight champion of the world, though, who, in my opinion, compares with some of the greats like the Marcianos, the Muhammad Ali's. But unfortunately, he lived in the shadows of Ali and uh, never quite got the recognition that he deserved. And incidentally, Holmes at the moment is the IBF heavyweight champion. I suppose in some ways because this is the newest and least recognised of uh, the three fragments of world championship boxing. It's the one that's viewed a little cynically, but uh, Larry Holmes is the IBF champion. So is Lester Ellis. And, and he's they're both great champions. <laughs> they're both good champions. <laughs> There will be three judges for this contest, by the way. The referee will not uh, be one of those judges. The referee will be Gus Peculio. And the three judges are uh, Cliff Heaver, Johnny Wheeler, and Norm Foster, uh, all from Melbourne. And there's Gus Mercurio. Jeff Bennett has just been introduced yes. to the crowd. Jeff that is a Fennick. wonderful reception for Jeff Fennick, I must say. Yes, uh, particularly as he's a Sydney boy down here in Melbourne. Jeff, of course, the IBF uh, Bantamweight uh, champion of the world. Where are you, Jeff? The uh, ring announcer has uh, introduced him uh, twice now, Howardly. <laughs> But no sign of Jeff. Never mind, he's here, and uh, what a, a tremendous reception he got well, from he uh, this up, Melbourne crowd. He might have caught up with uh, this new TAA scheme of getting out of Melbourne and back to Sydney as quickly as you can. <laughs> and Tony Rivera, who fought the main preliminary contest against Australia's Tony Miller, the Puerto Rican featherweight champion, Rated number 10 in the world. And he has just a brief word with uh, both of uh, the boxers in this World Championship contest. Former World Boxing Council featherweight champion, one of Australia's greatest fighting sons, John Fanderson. Johnny Fanderson. What a popular figure he is what here in Melbourne. Ones. Johnny Fanderson. Former World Boxing Council champion of the world, featherweight division. Now, a leading referee and judge, Paul Moore. Paul Moore from New South Wales. I certainly hope they introduce uh, Lionel Rose, who I believe is one of the other greatest fighters Australia's ever had. Yes, Lionel Rose. Here's Lionel, uh, stepping up Lionel to the ring now. Just uh, a little bit heavier than his former bantamweight uh, uh, division. But what a popular figure, Lionel Rose. And he's now a talent scout for Australian boxing. Exactly. I, I, I've always admired Lionel. I've, I've watched him when I was a little boy, believe it or not. And I was quite honoured when I fought Mohammed for the world title that he was on the same bill in, in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, very one of Australia's most Thank popular boxers of all time, Lionel Rose. Thank you very much for coming tonight, atmosphere, an electric atmosphere on ABC Radio and Television, our national anthem. Well, it uh, shouldn't be long before we have that Ricky national Wendell, anthem. I know, Ricky, come in, the, Ricky, uh, sing boxes, the Australian uh, national anthem. have been anthem. gloved up, We'd ask you to be and they're uh, wearing the uh, eight-ounce gloves, uh, which are the, the weight gloves decided for this division by the International Boxing Australians Federation. Australians, all let us rejoice, for we are young and free, with golden soil and wealth for toil, our land is girt by sea.
He did a marvellous job, I must say. Certainly did, and uh, with uh, a little bit of opposition too. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Barry Michael wearing a Port Melbourne football jumper. Football club here in Melbourne, Australian Rules Football in the Victorian Association. A great tradition. And uh, Michael from out in the western suburbs, in that way, an ardent supporter. Well, all is in readiness now for this World Championship contest. 15 three-minute rounds Lord for the International Brother, Boxing Federation's World Junior West Lightweight District. title. Gus Mercurio, Ladies the referee, the is uh, in the ring. Boxing for the International Boxing and here's the announcement. Junior Lightweight Championship. Introducing in the blue corner, the Commonwealth Lightweight and Australian Lightweight Champion. Those titles are not on the line tonight. He's had 55 fights, 44 wins, 14 KOs with Ray Styles, Len Swetnam and Graham Schofield in the corner. Tonight scaling 58.8 kilos. Managed by Leo Berry and Leo McDonald, the wizard in possession of well-earned ring wisdom, an undeniable challenger, Barry Michael. the smile on Barry's face. Yes, he's uh, quite confident. That's the confidence of a man who's come here to win a title. 16 fights, 12 KOs. Tonight's scaling 58.96 kilos. Trained by Dana Goodson. Managed by Keith Ellis, Senior and Junior. The epitome of exciting ring enterprise. Entrenching his name in ring elitism. The master blaster, Lester Ellis! The champion with the determination on his face. Yes. Your supervisor from the United States, Mike Cusimano and Kevin Hayes. Ringside judges, non-scoring, covering his third world title fight. Cliff Heaver, Australia. Your second judge, John Wheeler, Australia. Your third judge, 46 years in boxing, Norman Foster, Australia. Timekeepers, Damien Membry, Ray Weller. The man in charge of this contest, his first world title refereeing job. 16 years, a top Australian referee, recognized internationally, Gus Mercurio. And Gus Mercurio will call the boys to centre ring just to give them their final instructions. I think both men are taunting each other. I want you to break. No hitting and holding. Listen to my instructions at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Shake hands now. And come on, boxers. Well, they had plenty to say to each other while uh, referee Gus Mercurio was giving them their final instructions. And we're all ready now for round one of this World Junior Lightweight Championship between the champion Lester Ellis coming out of the red corner and the challenger Barry Michael. Two Melbourne boys. Barry Michael scores with a left to the side of the head. <laughs> Trying to attack the body of the uh, champion. Oh, and he landed a couple of fairly good punches, too. Lester Ellis had to back away. Oh, he lands a right to the head. Good punch by Ellis. And he's got Michael in the corner. But Michael comes back with a left grip to the body. Good punch. These men mean business. You can tell by the ferocity of the punches. It's, uh, it's quite remarkable to see it. A lot of times in boxing, you don't see this kind of venom being thrown so early. Well, there's usually a uh, feeling out period, but not so in this contest. Get free, get free, don't mark. Mark, free, red back. Barry Michael looking very determined. Comes after Ellis. Got the right into the body, but is tied up there. Get free, get free. Gus Mercurio orders him to break. Let him go, let him go. Break, right back, right back, clean. Box. 
first round of this 15 three minute round contest Barry Michael the challenger Lester Ellis the champion get him free come on keep working there. come on oh good touch by Ellis good uh, left hand Michael trying to punch to the uh, body uh, in close then goes in after his man I think both men have forgotten about feeling each other out. Uh, yes. I think we're going to have an action-packed fight right the way through. We certainly are. Get them free, says the referee. Certainly both very determined. I don't think either of them wants this uh, uh, contest to last too long. <laughs> left into the body and another left into the body by Michael and a left to the uh, side of the head by Michael. But Lester had, uh, Lester Ellis had scored a couple too in that exchange. Both men are sinking punches to the ribs that would normally knock other people out. But they're both very, very fit. And they are desperately needing to uh, protect each other's uh, standing in the boxing world. Oh, good punching by Lester Ellis. Good punches to the head, both left and right. Okay, break. As Michael again tries to attack the body. And the bell sounds for the end of round one. Well, I must say, John, that uh, I am not going to score that round at all because I'll just classify it as a feeling out round and I'm glad I wasn't in there to feel it <laughs> <laughs> well as you said not much feeling out both of them extremely determined good punches there from Ellis in uh, that exchange as Michael tried to go to the body uh, Ellis scored with uh, a couple of very good punches to the head both men are very very sharp and I like the way Lester Ellis turned Barry Michael and came back which is uh, which means that he's very very on edge and he's very much on uh, on key yes it was a pretty good round for plenty of action for the first round of a 15 round contest there's no way in the world they're going to keep up that pace uh, for 15 rounds i just can't see it john no i can't see it well now round two and michael uh, okay. was going to rush at let ellis go, but ellis go. stood his ground let go let go says the referee Michael, 30 years of age, 10 years older than uh, the champion Lester Ellis. And Michael is really letting those left rips go. They're not all landing, but one or two of them are finding the uh, the target. Break, break, break. And that's Lester Ellis's midriff. I cannot see them keeping this pace up, John, beyond five or six rounds, because what they're doing is just uh, incredible. Let them go, let them go, come on. They're Get throwing free. a lot of, lot of leather, which uh, could go. be detrimental to one of them. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Well, they're both keen to get this over with early, I think. Break, break, Neither one break. of them wants it to go the distance. On, let's, get, let's hold him. Let's hold him. Box. Again, Michael tries to uh, fight on, to the body, but uh, Ellis uh, has landed some good head punches. Let's go. Don't hold. Lovely left a, jabs. Yes, Ellis with a longer reach. Barry Michael uh, will not find it too easy to uh, land those uh, left leads on, break, break, to the head of Ellis. Again, Michael tries to attack to the body. Keep working. Get him free. Come on. Come on. Break. Gus Mercurio is certainly going to uh, earn his fee as Lester Ellis score with a good right hand on the side of the head. Okay, break. It's amazing, John. Both of these men are so keyed up to, to beat each other that I think if you threw away the referee, they'd still be doing the business. And uh, they're, they're both very clean punching and they're clean fighting. And this is appreciated by the crowd, too. They love the action in this contest. Get your hands free. Let's go! Come on! Break! 
Barry Michael had to uh, waste some uh, three kilograms or so to uh, make the uh, the weight Chance, uh, for this uh, go, championship uh, challenge. But he has come in just Break. under the weight of his opponent, Lester Ellis, which was surprising. That's right. I was with uh, Barry at a health farm when uh, he, he came down there to try and lose some of the uh, early poundage. Come on, let's go, let's and, go. Get uh, come on. What I like about him that he took about nine weeks to try and lose that weight. And the fact that he took so long to drop the weight, uh, he doesn't seem to have as, as affected him strength-wise. He looks very fit come and very strong. Break. He certainly does. That's it, Colin. Yeah, Lester Ellis uh, has a little uh, something to say to his opponent. As the uh, bell sounded for the end of round two. And here's some of the action in that uh, round. How did you think that one went, Joe? Can I leave it till the next round? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so engrossed in the fight. Um, to be quite honest with you, I think at this moment it would be premature for to say who's won the rounds, but they're both throwing equally as many shots. And um, Lester Ellis, obviously being the champion, would most probably have scraped it because he is the champion. But uh, I think Barry Michael has done as, many, as, uh, as uh, much work. Well, I think the, the overall effects of the mutual onslaught are going to be the important thing, not so much the point scoring in these two rounds. That's right. And it's, uh, is, is we're going to be able to tell the difference in about the sixth, seventh round. If it goes that long. Get the score. Judges, by the way, are awarding a uh, uh, 10 let's points go, to the boxer they consider very, very has won the round. That's in each round. Each judge awards 10 points to the boxer he considers has won it. Proportionately fewer to his opponent, Lester Ellis. I hope they don't. Is uh, showing some determination in this round. They seem to be talking in the clinches. I hope they don't turn this fight into a fiasco because they're both great fighters. And that's how we want to see a title fight. Come on. Get him free. Come on. Michael talking yes. to Lester. Yes, he's having quite a bit to say to him. And I should imagine, uh, Joe, that he's saying something like, is that as hard as you can hit? And Michael has landed a couple of good ones then. Uh, right and left. Come on, let's see if break Come on. Gus Mercurio again wants them to break. I hope Gus lasts the fight. Yes, he's going to have to work hard. Michael again goes after his opponent. Okay, break, go right back, go right back. Good body shot. Yes, but Lester Ellis came back with a nice left hook. Certainly did that. Both of them really. There's a lot of venom in this fight. Oh, good punching by uh, Barry Michael. Let go, come on. Head and body. Get him free, don't hold, don't hold. He does look strong. Barry Michael looks very strong, uh, even though he's lost uh, that weight to make the uh, limit for this fight. Oh, good left by Ellis, who uh, slipped a couple of uh, punches from uh, Michael and landed that good left hook. Yes, Gus Mercurio certainly has his uh, hands full. Oh, low blow from Michael. The referee will speak to him. I think it was a deliberate punch, John. I think oh, it was the moment. You know, it's, uh... Yes, I agree with you. Now it's Mr. Ellis going up to Michael. Michael having to cover up. 25 yeah. seconds left in the round. And the crowd urging Ellis on. But another good left rip into the body by Michael. Michael just seemed to hesitate for a moment. And let, uh, let Ellis come after him with Michael having to cover up, but he's come back. He was hit with some beautiful punches there. And a very good third round of this World Championship Conference. Yeah, well, both uh, boxers scored some excellent punches in that round, but a very good flurry from uh, Ellis towards the end of it. Here's Michael scoring with a couple of good punches, but Ellis comes back with that right, then a left, 
to the side of the head. I think the start of that, uh, the problem that uh, Michael had there was a left hook that followed up with a right cross and then followed again with another left hook, which was a very good combination by Lester Ellis. And then Ellis came after him, as you see here, and uh, Barry Michael just slowed up a little bit there and had to cover up. He's had his backs to the ropes, back to the ropes, and uh, I must say to his credit, though, in the last few seconds uh, of that round, he came back. That was a good left rip into the body from Michael. Very fit men. Both of them are very, very fit men. Fourth round of 15. The fourth round. Hold on, hold on, get him free. Third ball. Come on. Those left hooks and right crosses of uh, Lester Ellis seem to be uh, catching uh, Michael. Yes, and Michael still uh, let go, let concentrating go, let go, let go, let go. his attack on the body. Come on. He has scored with some uh, head punches, but his attack on. mostly Ready. has been to the body. through to the head then but he caught one back from uh, uh, Lester Ellis it's amazing John we've, we've Australia has created history in the boxing world and I think this fight can go down with it I think even up till now as one of the finest fights I've seen and uh, that's quite a thing well it certainly got everything let go let go let go let the hands free. <laughs> Michael uh, looks uh, physically strong, but I'm wondering uh, whether that wasting he had to do has weakened him. And of course, we'll know as the fight progresses. Lester Ellis bleeding from the nose, takes a couple of light lefts to the face. Michael comes after him, punching to the body again. Let go, let go, let go. Let go, come on. Get in. I think the, both these two men have burned far too much energy in the first three rounds, and uh, I just cannot see them last in uh, much at this space. Well, Ellis caught with a couple of good punches, then fought back nicely, scored with a good right to the head. Ellis has drawn blood too, John. Michael yes. bleeding from the mouth. Yes, he is. Blood coming from the mouth of uh, Michael and from the nose of Ellis. Put your hand out there. Good hand. Oh, good right to the head by uh, Ellis. That was a good punch. Watch your heads in it. The excitement in the stadium is quite electrifying. Well, both uh, boxers have uh, shown that they can uh, certainly take punches, but they've, done, they've demonstrated that... Uh, before tonight. Ellis coming back after being uh, in a lot of trouble in the early part of his uh, first title defense against the Quentin of the Philippines. And Barry Michael having come back uh, on more than one occasion when in trouble in uh, his uh, previous contest. Come on, get your hands free that That's it. I think a lot of people in the boxing business will uh, realize that Barry Michael does mean business and that just because he's 30 years old, he's not over the hill. Well, this could be his last opportunity. Could be his last opportunity to uh, win uh, a major title at 30 years of age. If he doesn't win this one tonight, uh, it could be the end of the road for Barry Michael. Yes, he really does have to put on a good show here to, uh, tonight and uh, he is a very cheeky person. I think he's tormenting the fans quite, <laughs> quite a bit by lifting his arm up and smiling and winking after the each round. Yes, and uh, that little playful tap on the chin <laughs> after the bell had sounded uh, didn't uh, please Lester Ellis too much. Oh, look, both at uh, close quarters, throwing punches from everywhere. Good uh, right to the side of the head by Ellis. There is another one. He seems to be throwing the clearer punches, the yes. more cleaner ones and the sharper ones. I think that reach advantage is, uh, is uh, to his benefit. In fact, uh, I think uh, he has shaded uh, Barry Michael in the last two rounds. Okay, good three right away. Come on, and, uh, Good, good. Therefore, I would have uh, Lester Ellis very slightly in front, going into round five of this World Championship contest. Oh, no, no. But there's Come a long on. way to go. Let go, let go. And uh, either boxer could win this one. Let 
Let your hands go. Get free. Get One free. punch Come on. Let's go. change the course. Well, they can both take a punch. They're both showing that. Stand Michael going ball. to the body again. Get free. Get free. Get free. Get free. a good left hook. The combination from Lester is that's quite, it. That's it. Get free. quite remarkable. Come on. Let go. Come on. Let go. Let go there. Let go. Form. At this stage of the Great. fight, I must say, Lester Ellis is, is uh, showing that he is the champion of the world, and um, and Barry Michael is the challenger at this stage of the fight. Let's go, let's go, come on. Halfway through round five. Let's go, let's go, come on. This is Michael's game working inside. Yes, he likes to get in close. He's a very good body puncher. And he rips hard, and uh, he's lost his mouth guard. Scores a couple of light uh, uppercuts in that clinch. Lester Ellis fights back. Break, grab that, clean, clean, break, clean. So, uh, Michael fighting without a mouth guard at the moment. Very dangerous time, because uh, an uppercut could totally split his lip. His bottom lip or his top lip, and uh, just well, has to be very careful now and guard that lip of his. And just as I said that, he, got, he caught a tremendous punch from uh, left hook. Here. Break, let go. Come on, get your hands free. Well, they're both still putting plenty of weight in these punches. The Furious fighting over four rounds has not slowed them down as yet. But there's no way they're going to be able to keep Let's up this pace for 15 rounds. This fifth round, I must say, is, uh, is very even Stevens at this stage. Yes, yeah, very little in this one. Let those hands go. Michael has landed some good blows. Particularly to the body in uh, round five. And there would be nothing in that one. No, it's amazing, John. Uh, when you see uh, fights like this, it makes you want to you want to make a comeback and uh, before I joined here in Valley Springs um, I had the inclination to fight in uh, a fellow called Bone Crusher Smith who had a great fight against Larry Holmes and unfortunately at the last minute uh, Bone Crusher pulled out but this kind of fighting uh, even for us old timers uh, <laughs> they want to make you want to come back <laughs> well I, I think after seeing this one uh, I don't think I want to get into the ring again. <laughs> I just changed my mind it's all right John I just changed it <laughs> Michael was having a spit and there was a fair amount of uh, blood along with the saliva and water but uh, as I said before and we keep stressing he's an incredibly durable boxer he wore down Max Ropus uh, Frank, Frank Ropus in uh, very hot conditions in 1983 he's uh, seen out the storm against Earthquake Carter and he's trying to uh, weather the storm here against Lester Ellis well it's round six and Barry Michael was very keen to get on with it I think you'll find Jim that uh, cut in uh, Barry Michael's mouth is actually on the bottom lip because you notice that he pulls his lip, his bottom lip in, and the top part of the teeth must probably have uh, was crunched against the teeth, uh, the gum shield. Hands free, come on, get him free. Well, he's finding uh, Lester Ellis a bit hard to hit. Okay, break, break. Particularly break, to the head. Right Barry Michael has fully recovered from that uh, tremendous power that uh, Lester Ellis pulled on him. Be careful, box. Yes. I think he's back in the flow again. Oh, great, right on, right back, right back, right back. Yes, well, so far in this round, Barry Michael has looked pretty good. Come on, come on. Break right back, right back. And that flurry of punches. Um, 
Michael took uh, the last one of them on the chin. But there wasn't much power in it. Big punches are still flying them. Let's go, fellas. Come on, get your hands free. Yes, they're certainly putting plenty of shoulder into them. Don't hold, don't hold. Let them go. Break! They both throw their punches uh, extremely well. Put plenty of body weight into them. Let go, let go, let go. Dean when you punch, hand off his head, off his head. I think we'll start seeing the deterioration of the stamina as uh, as the rounds start going away now. Let your hand Couple of good punches go. in that exchange. Don't hold, don't hold in there. Come on, get free. Get free. Larry Michael scoring in close. This is his kind of fight they're fighting at the moment. Yes. It certainly is, and he's drawing Lester Ellis in, which could be very dangerous. Come on, that's it. Yes, he's drawing him in. It's, a, it's become a, a mauling contest now, and this is what Barry Michael likes. Let's go again. Come on. Let go. Let go in there. Break! Break! Box. We're in round six of this 15-round contest for the World Junior Lightweight title. And they don't want to stop. The Villains, round six, and uh, a very good round. Absolutely marvelous. And I thought quite a good round for Barry Michael that time. Some of the action that was a good uppercut by uh, Ellis, but he's been drawn into that uh, very close fighting, that infighting with uh, Barry Michael, and that's uh, what Michael enjoys. That's where he's very dangerous. Well, I believe that this is where his experience will come out. You know, where he'll try and uh, draw Lester Ellis into his uh, his style of fighting, and. Uh, of seeing who's the fittest out of the two now because they've both first. tested their punches, they've both took big shots on the chin, so it's just we'll see what's going to happen. Just here in the background, Dana Goodson and Keith Ellis talking to their man, round seven. And again, both very quickly into the action. Get your free, come on, let's go, let's go. Let them go, come on. Oh, and another good right by Ellis okay, to the side of the head. Fellas. Come on. Good let's scoring go punches go. from the champion. Let's go. That's it. Break. Right back. Right back. That's it, fellas. Get in those knuckles in. Come on. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's it. Right on. Box. Ellis Simpson has found his distance again, so uh, if he keeps Michael at distance, he's far more... Um, Come on, He's far more in control go, that way. Go, come on, yes. let him go. Well, he has to do that, hasn't he? He, Keep him at a distance, yes. he can't afford to stay in close and uh, join Michael in that infighting. Come on, get your hands free, Foster. Come on. It. But it's amazing what a, an old, experienced fighter like Michael can do. He can turn that thing around and pull it his way. Come on. Get your hands free. Break, break. Right back, right back. Come on, back, back. back. Gus Mercurio is having a, a tired time with these two. Harry Michael scoring there with a couple of good punches. Ellis trying to fight his way out of the corner. But Barry Michael keeping him there. I can actually feel the power between those punches. Both these men are really throwing some heavy leather. Heavy leather. I'm, I'm even getting I'm right so excited. <laughs> That was low, Barry. That was low, Barry. Barry. That was low, Barry. He Barry Michael, spoken to by the referee, Gus Mercurio, said he threw a low punch. And there's a cutter under uh, Lester Ellis's right eye. I think that could be a smear from the nose, uh, John. Is I, that what it I, is? I don't think it's a cut. No, as you can see. Okay, break, 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 break. Well, maybe there is a cut. <laughs> Looks to me as if he does have a, a slight cut under the left, uh, under the uh, right eye. Both these men are sus, sus for a, a 
um, cuts as far as I know. Uh, Barry Michael does have a bit of scar tissue above his eyebrows, um, but he's uh, certainly held up very well. You're right, there is a cut under Lester Ellis's eye. Right eye. Well, let's hope it's not a bad one. But uh, I'm sure uh, Barry Michael uh, would be aware of it. And uh, we'll try to work on that. Yes, he'll try and capitalise in on that and um, obviously uh, make it a bit worse. And the bell sounds the end of round seven. And another excellent round. I don't know how these boxes are keeping up this pace. Tremendous close-in shot there from the ABC Sport cameras and uh, the sound from the ring great. You heard Gus Mercurio during that round telling Michael to keep the punches up and told him there was a low blow, but uh, it was Michael's round again. And Joe, we're almost halfway there. We're going into the halfway stage in the eighth round. Do you think perhaps the challenger is starting to uh, wear his man down? It certainly seems like it. Uh, it's amazing the kind of ferocity that both men are putting into their punches. I don't know where they're getting their strength from. And Barry Michael comes straight after his man at the beginning of round number eight. But Lester Ellis slugs it out with him. Okay, back in there. Get round eight of this 15-round contest. Barry Michael stalking his man, trying to get in close. Get hands free. Come on, get your hands Land those free. heavy body punches. He occasionally goes up to the head. He's opened that cut under Ellis's right eye. The last time I saw such a ferocious fight was against Muhammad Ali and Joe let Frazier. Go, let, let your hands go there. And, uh, okay, break, right back, right back. Right back. These two little fellas are really doing a fabulous job. That's a big rap, Joe Booker. You bet it is, because they deserve it. And a good right hand there on. by uh, Barry yeah, Michael to the side of the head before he went in Come close on. into that break. Right back, right back. Right back. Right. And perhaps he is beginning to wear Ellis down. Barry Michael. Let's go, let's go. Who has come Get from this sort of situation come before? He knows let's what go. it's all about. Your hands free, fellas. He come can on. absorb some hold punishment. Hold, hold, hold. And uh, wasting uh, in weight to to make the limit for this fight doesn't seem to have affected him, Joe. None whatsoever. And uh, I believe that this is a great weight for uh, Barry Michael to fight at because he seems oh, very oh, strong. Break it. Right back. Right back. Right back. Right back. Neither fighter predicted an early knockout. They both said they were prepared to go a long, hard 15, although I think Michael fancied his chances of perhaps wearing his man down in around 10, 11, 12. Let go, get your hand free. We're halfway through round eight. And uh, Barry Michael just a moment ago scored very good combination left and right. And uh, that really uh, slowed Ellis down for a moment. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I think the sting seems to have gone right out of Lester Ellis' arms. Uh, I think those body punches are telling on him quite a bit. Well, another good right to the head by uh, Michael on, before going free. into the clinch. Get your hands free. Come on. That's it. Get him free. Let go. And an uppercut in that uh, clinch by uh, Ellis. I think Gus McCurry is doing a wonderful job in there as referee. Yes. again from uh, Michael in that exchange. Let's go, let's go, come on. Beautiful punches by Barry Michael. He's, uh, he's throwing those body shots like he means business. And okay, let's Ellis go. is Get curling hands. over every Get time he's hit right now in the ribs. That's it, fellas. Good left hook there, but it was taken on the gloves by Michael. Right. He covered up nicely. Come on. Right back, right back. That exchange appreciated by the capacity crowd here at Buffalo Hall. The end of another excellent round. Eight of the 15 rounds gone. Tim, is it true that you're taking up boxing? Now, could we have a comment from you? 
<laughs> Boxing commentary, Joe. I enjoy the excitement, but by golly, you wouldn't get me in there for quids. And just a comment on the, the atmosphere here at Festival Hall in Melbourne. It really is unbelievable. Looking around behind us, just a sea of faces. The doors were closed about 20 minutes before the championship fight got underway. And uh, you have to be here to feel it, but uh, obviously you're catching it out there as well on ABC Sport. Well, we just saw some of the action again from uh, round number eight, and I thought, again, that was uh, a pretty good round for Barry Michael, Joe. Right I am so surprised to see this, uh, this old-timer like I am up there in that corner fighting that young man, Lester Ellis. I mean, Barry Michael has certainly has proved himself to be a, a, a fantastic fighter, and uh, he has dominated the last three rounds as far as I can see. Well, Lester Ellis, I think, knows that he's uh, okay, on, determined on, to do better in this round, the way he Come started. On, on your own, good. Ellis knows what it's like to go the distance. Oh, good right by Michael. That was a good right cross Let go. Come on, get to the Let chin go. Come on. of the uh, champion. And Michael scores again, but now Ellis comes back with left and right combination. Both Barry. men just grit their teeth and have a guide. Combination punches are just uh, wonderful to watch. Oh, good long right there from uh, Michael. Then a left into the face. Come on, come on. Let's Ellis, go, go, uh, I think Great. at this stage, is looking just a little bit less confident than uh, earlier in the fight. He still has a determination in his eyes to show that he is the world champion. And uh, until the last round or the Small last uh, minute, that's it. Let's go, let go there. Let when go, you're a let champion, go. you're Come a on. champion. Get your hands free there. Break. Get your hands free, says Gus Mercurio. Once again, come on, get those hands. Get them free, don't hold. I think don't ABC hold, has done a marvelous thing to secure this fight for the country don't because it, show, it shows that uh, the great things happen on ABC. Oh, beautiful. Punch. One of the great things, and that was a great punch by Ellis. Let go. Great punch, lock on the jaw of Michael. But both of these boxers have shown in this contest that they can take these heavy punches. Now it's Michael scoring to the body. Let go, come on. Let go, both hands. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Break. Yes, break. Curio will again ask them to break. If Michael allows Ellis to uh, Lester Ellis to find his distance again, he will be in danger. This is why I noticed he keeps trying to jump on top of Ellis so that uh, the distance disappears. Because he's, he's very, very dangerous, Lester Ellis, from a distance. Both scored with good right hands then. Get your hands free. Come on, let go, let go. Break, break. Inside the last half minute of round nine. Although the pace has slowed down a bit, the punching power hasn't. Shazai making a boo boo. Well, the pace was stepped up there for a moment, Joe, towards the end of round nine. Ellis's last two fights have taken him into the championship rounds. He stopped Rod Sequinan in the 13th round. He had to go the distance to win the title from Juan Kilyu. Michael, on the other hand, hasn't fought the 15 since 1982, when he uh, first surrendered the Commonwealth title to Claude Noel. He's since won that title back. Which could, of course, be a, a slight uh, thing against Barry Michael because being inactive for so long could, of course, be a, a slight problem for him. But he doesn't show it in this fight. Uh, here he is uh, in round nine coming after the champion. And uh, he's gone after him throughout most of this contest. He seems to be taking the uh, the fight up to Ellis, but Ellis uh, uh, is prepared uh, every now and, again, now and again to stand and slug it with him to uh, pick him up at long range. Now, here's round 10, and it's Michael, the challenger in the blue shorts against uh, Ellis, let's go, the let's champion. Go, let's go, come on. Let your hands go, let's go. Fighting for let's the go, IBF let's World go. Junior Lightweight title. 
both boxes still looking, looking very strong. And the pace is hardly slackened. So they started off run one at a furious Break! Hit and hold him. Hit and hold the box. There's the chant of Lester. Lester from the crowd. It's obvious that uh, the majority of the crowd here in Festival Hall is on the side of the champion. Who made Michael miss Let's that? Go, come on. Come on. Break, the excitement break, in this place is just break. unreal, isn't it? I mean, it's, the crowd is really alive. It certainly is. Oh, hang on that rope, Lester. Lester is the uh, popular favourite for this contest. Let's go. Let's go. He's the champion. Let's go. And he's not going go. to relinquish that title easily. Let's go. Break, break, Michael break. is going to take it. He's going to earn it. We're in round 10. Come on, fellas. Come on. Let's get five to go free. after this get one. Free. Those punches taken on the, the arms. Oh, but that one wasn't. Beautiful right hand. When those punches go, find their mark, go. they really Get do hurt. Free. Both fighters grunt their teeth when they've been hit very hard because you can see the power. And that time, Michael made Lester Ellis miss. Level work by Michael with his back to the right. Watch your head, watch your head. Keeping uh, Michael back on the ropes. Reversing the position going up. Big right hand by Ellis. A big swing. Let go, let go. Let go. Let go. I have great admiration for Barry Michael to come back at the age of 30 and fight a 20-year-old champion who's as strong, as fit as this. It's remarkable. Don't hold, don't hold. Come on. Get free. Get free, get free. Don't hold. This is, that's been a better round for uh, Lester Ellis. A better round for the champion. But there's not too much in it, Joe, overall. No, there isn't. And the marvelous thing is that here is a man who at this weight, usually at 30 years of age, should have retired. And he's fighting, I think, one of the greatest fights of his career. Michael there in the corner, and uh, with him uh, in that corner are uh, Dana Goodson, I'm uh, sorry, uh, 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 Ray Styles and uh, Lynn Swetnam. Lynn Dana Swetnam, Goodson, uh, Barry uh, Michael's father. Yes. Barry's name is Barry Michael Swetnam. That's Ray Styles and Barry's trainer. Yes. Dana Goodson, whose interest. name I mentioned, of course, is in the other corner with what? Lester Ellis, and uh, he... Uh, is that still? Formerly trained uh, Barry Michael. Let go now, come on. Let go, no hold. And he's changed camps. He's with uh, Lester Ellis. And we're in round 11 of Let this 15 come on, round let your hands free. title get contest. Free. Break! 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 Box. Let go, let go, fellas. Come on, get your hands free. Let them go. Barry Michael obviously is going to put everything he can into this round. Hand free. Oh, but Ellis scores some good punches, Ryan. The champion is showing that he is champion and he's coming back with some tremendous punches. One, two. Turns him round, has him in the corner. Now 
dances away as much as to say, come and get me. But now stands his ground. Get your hands free. Come on, once again. Break clean. See if you can break clean. Break, break. Watch the elbow. Watch the before on there. Box. Once again. Hands free. Break, break. Break. Oh, good left hand from Michael as uh, Ellis came in. Good right cross from Barry Michael. Yes, he's scoring well at the moment. Right, a good, good exchange. Good break, flurry break, there from break, Barry Michael. Break. Michael again scores for the right, but Ellis came back with a good left hook. Big punch from Ellis. He let's seems, go, he go, seems go, to have a more go, powerful go, punch left for Ellis. Go. And, um, let him go. Let him go. Come on. But Michael rides it. Break, break. Very well. Yes, he does. Watch Ellis has on. counted beautifully on uh, several occasions. I must say, John, both men have earned their money this Let's evening. Go. They certainly have. It is a wonderful thing for sport to see that they come here and they're producing world standard and world class boxing. Harry Michael in close scores again to the body. Lester Ellis to hang on there towards the end of round 11. And what I love about it is that both men at each round, at the end of each round, now put their hand up in gesture of saying, I'm still in there. And uh, that's a bit very, well, <laughs> it's a bit cocky. <laughs> Here again, some of the action from uh, that last round, round number 11. And my goodness, this has been a, a torrid contest. Well, the I heads must, of both boxes jolted there. I must say, John, I did not believe that this fight would go, what is it, almost the 12th round now. I mean, um, from the beginning of the fight, I thought it would end very early, somewhere between the 5th and 6th mark. Um, both men look very composed. They're not uh, panting or breathing heavily, so please they've got a lot more to give. round 12 we're in the championship rounds 12 oh sorry we will be up to this one 13 14 and 15 and here's ellis making good use of the ring oh, good dance, yeah, making it. michael uh, come after him and it's uh, lovely to see john that uh, the go. cut eye on lester ellis's right right uh, right eye has not worsened so that's a good thing yes it is good right hand by uh, michael Okay, break, break. I'll give you a chance to break on your own, father. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Watch your heads in there. Be careful what you're doing. There's very little you can say about a great fight like this because I'm sure that the viewers at home and also the fans here, I mean, hop, what hop. can you say about a great fight like this? In the center, in the center. Come on, box. And out the fans here appreciating it. Appreciating it. A capacity crowd at Melbourne's Festival okay, Hall. Okay, get your hands free. Come on. For this break. world break. junior lightweight title. Break. Break. Contest between break. Lester Ellis, the champion, Barry Michael, the challenger. Barry Michael at 30. Lester Ellis at 20 years of age. Let's go. Let's go. And again, go Michael go uh, scores with Let those body go. punches in close. Ellis comes back with combination to the head. Both men have total disregard okay, for their power right and, uh, and their ability. They're just throwing hell for leather now. Hey. And, uh, break. Right back. All leather for hell. All leather, All leather for hell. <laughs> I like that, Tim. <laughs> break. You're holding on to the rope. Hold on to the rope. Break. It's a uh, mauling round this one, and Barry Michael now bleeding from the nose. I think that could have been from a uh, head bump because uh, they seem to be using their head a little bit now because they, their composure seems to be slipping a bit. 
And they're both putting plenty of weight behind those punches still. Here we are approaching the end of round number 12. And they're still punching as hard as they were at the beginning. Wallace on the back move. He's in a bit of trouble. He's been hurt by uh, some of those body punches. It's been a good round for Michael. A good left to the head, a left into the body. A good round for Barry Michael. Very good round indeed. Let go, let go, but the go, champion go. is still hanging in there and he's still oh, yes. thing. Yes, uh, he's danced around the ring uh, Once again, let go, a number of times let go, during the contest. Let him go, come on. But then uh, after free. doing that, he stands his ground and plays the punches great. with uh, Barry Michael. Back. But a good round for Barry Michael, round number 12. One thing about this 30-year-old, he's a very, very young 30-year-old. And he's look, looking look quite happy in his corner too. Smiling away, chatting away, there he goes. Yes, looking quite happy. He obviously feels strong within himself. Now the big question mark over him was whether losing those few kilos might uh, take it out of him if it came to this sort of crunch, into the championship rounds, but he looks confident that uh, that's not going to affect him. Certainly it is, and I, and I must say, at this stage of the fight, I think they are even Stevens. Yes, there's very little in it. Going into the championship rounds, round 13 coming up. In and out on him. Just now. three rounds to go. One, two, three, pull, out, pull. All that's, right. That's Dana Goodson, you can hear, talking to Lester Ellis, okay, the champion. Time, he's the champ, he's got the title, Michael's got to get it off him. Let him out, let him out. Mark, get that stool. And uh, these last three rounds are going right, to be pretty furious. Break, break, I think break. both uh, boxers uh, realize that uh, these three rounds could let's decide at the let's last go. three because let's there's go, very little go. in it at, the, uh, at this stage. Break. Hold on that very right. little indeed. Box. Again, Mary Michael charges across the ring after his man, but uh, Ellis stands his ground again. Michael continues to work on the body, then brings the left up to the head. Watch your head. Break. Right back, right back. uppercut by Lester Ellis and I think Barry Michael felt that okay hands free get him free go break break right back I think Lester Ellis is feeling the pressure now by from Michael and uh, as you said, his last go, three go, rounds are going to be the big uh, determinator for the fight. Break, fellas, that's it, right? Yes, and uh, goodness me, I don't know how they've kept this up as long as they have. Those punches are really, uh, they've really got a lot of weight behind them. What a tremendous contest this has been. Oh, and they're both still scoring with big hands, big uh, left and rights. Okay, come on, hands free, get them free. Get him free. Let go, let go. Come on, let go. Break. Barry Michael bleeding Break. from the nose. Lester Ellis cut uh, under the eye and also uh, bleeding from the nose. Cut on, on the lip of uh, Barry Michael. Let's go. Come on. Break. Break, break. This is a contest that both these boxers are going to remember for a long time. It's amazing, John. I got a feeling that uh, Barry Michael may have broken his nose because he's breathing oh, through his mouth now. Free, free. And if he did break his nose, break, then there's break. a possibility that uh, you know, there's a big swelling in there and he can't breathe through it. So he's, you notice his mouth is hanging open, which means he's puffing air through his mouth. Oh, big left hand from uh, Ellis. Then he made uh, Michael miss. Come on, come on, get your hands through now. But Michael's showing a lot of determination, still going after on, his man, but go. tied up let's now by hands. Ellis. Come on. Get that hand free. Get it free. And that's back in the neutral hey. corner. Hold it on. Hold it on. Left leads from both uh, boxes landed. Oh. All right. And another good round. And only hey. two more to go. That's the end of round 13. And even in the 13th round, Barry Michael lifts his hand up and say, hey. Confident, though. Well, I think what is 
important to him is that whatever whatever the result is, he's proved himself beyond a shadow of a doubt that uh, he's a great fighter. And no Australian can say anything bad about him as far as his boxing ability because, like I said, whatever the result is, he's proved himself against a young, determined, great champion like Lester Ellis. And this is the way he's proved. Look at the uh, at the two boxers still throwing those punches as heavily as they did at the start of the contest. Both have absorbed a tremendous amount of punishment. Well, this has been a real world championship contest. Certainly world championships now. Without doubt, one of the finest fights I've seen in a very, very long time. Barry Michael is back very quickly onto his feet, and he's anxious to get on with round 14. Rushed at his opponent, but immediately has claimed to that clinch. Michael trying to punch to the body. Let go, let go that out. Okay. The referee calling on them to let go, stop holding. Michael go, continues let go, let go, to work go, to the body. Break, right back, right back. Oh, oh there's so little in this contest. Beautiful left hook by yes. Michael. Lovely punch by Michael. Go, that's it. Another one. Lovely right cross. Come on, let your hands go. Let go. Come on. Come on. Well, he's making uh, Lester Ellis uh, let let uh, cover up the body. He's Break, been, uh, right back, right back. Concentrating most of his attack Break. to the body, but every now and again he comes upstairs with a, uh, a good punch. Let's go. Come on. And that uh, sort of catches uh, Ellis by surprise. I know. That's his old craftiness coming out. Barry Michael showing all his experience and uh, it's paying off in many areas. Let him go. Come on. Let him go. Let go. Well, I'd hate to be scoring this contest, Joe. This uh, this one could go either way. That's okay. why you and I are in the easy seat. Break, break. <laughs> we'll leave the hard stuff to the judges. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Both have scored with some tremendous punches throughout this contest. A lot of the rounds have been even. Oh, Lester Ellis uh, perhaps in a little bit of trouble there from one of those heavy body punches from uh, Michael. Break, break. Once again, get your hands up, get your hands up. How much time left in this break, round, Tim? Break. Just over Come a minute, on, John. Just over a minute of round 14. So there's about four minutes of boxing left in this contest. And Barry Michael Come on, let's still go. in there with a chance. Break. Break. But there's nothing in it. Box. And I think the referee, Gus Mercurio, has got as much blood on him as uh, the two boxers. I think both these men will, uh, let go, let go. will have to Come get on, away box. for a nice long holiday after this fight. No, I think so. Because okay. I think the pain will be break. tremendous. I'll send him to Tasmania to my new company, Huon Valley Springs. That would be a great thing for me, wouldn't it? <laughs> send him into the mountains. Come on, get your hands in. That's it. Let him go. Let go now. Let go now. Oh, good punch by Ellis. Michael came back, though. Okay, break. break. Referee wants him to break again. We must be very close to the end of round 14. So there's not much of this title fight left. Heads. Heads. Lester Ellis, the champion, against Barry Michael, the challenger. And Michael has the champion on the ropes and scores two with good punches. And there's one round left now. That's the end of 40. Well, I think, John, without doubt, I think that particular round was Barry Michael's. Yes, I would agree. I think he was the crispier of the two, and uh, his punches were landing on the correct place. How did you see it, Tim? Yes, I'm with you, Joe, and I think Ray Styles is telling Barry Michael exactly that. This He's is really bunking it up at the moment and asking just for one last three-minute effort. And Michael looks well capable of producing this it, but let's not underestimate Ellis. Round. He's full of courage, determination. I believe at this, this time of the fight, both men are um, very tired and that uh, their thinking is not all that together, but uh, the, the man that reaches down into the depth of his uh, ability will come out victorious. Well, they might, might both be very tired, and I don't doubt that uh, one bit, but my goodness, Joe, they're still uh, throwing some heavy punches. There's a lot of weight in the blows. And there's the traditional uh, handshake to begin okay. round number 15, the final round of this world title fight. Lester Ellis, the world IBF champion in the pink shorts, 
against Barry Michael, the challenger. And both will put everything they've got into this final round because there's so little in the contest. This decision could go either way. Let go, let go. Lester Ellis has scored with some pretty sharp punches throughout the contest, but my goodness, he's let absorbed go. some punishment to the uh, body. You can and tell by the crowd, you can tell by the crowd, John, that this is a true heavy, uh, championship of almost a heavyweight championship of the world. It might as well be because the excitement let's is as go, good. Go, very, very what a tremendous contest it's been, and what a great crowd it's been too. Barry Michael again going after his man. One punch seemed a little bit low there, but uh, I think Gus Mercurio was unsightly on that one. Again, Barry Michael tries to uh, score to the uh, score to the body. Lester Ellis trying to dodge and weave, and then stand up and land his uh, crisp punches to the head, but uh, he hasn't landed too many yet in this round. Oh, good punching by Michael. Good uh, left hook, and then he followed up with uh, a right into the body. Let's go that way. It's amazing, John. I believe that Barry Michael actually is in front on points at this stage. Yes, well, on my card, I've got him in front. But uh, it's opposite to what I thought, uh, Joe. We won't talk about uh, that, John. Okay. No. Let's go. <laughs> but I have got uh, Barry Michael just in front in this final round. But a big effort from Ellis could pull it out. But the contest could go either way. I wouldn't be too sure. Now, both men have put up a fabulous performance. And uh, one can only be proud of them. Not much time left in this title fight. Just on a minute to go in the final round. Could it be the last minute of Lester Ellis's reign? Well, it could be. It certainly looks like it at this stage because Michael is the one that's putting all the pressure on. Michael again trying to punch hard into the body. Now gets a right, right to the side of the head, and another, then a right to the side of the body. The referee asks them to break. They're holding there in that clinch. Michael again goes in. Lester Ellis tries to fight him up, but it's Michael who's landing the scoring punches in this final round. Break, break. What a world championship contest this has been. It's amazing, 25 Barry seconds Michael to go. Misses with a big right hand, and... Uh, the Let's champion go. has lost Let's his go. mouth guard. Let's it went flying down. across the ring. Was it his mouth guard or was it something else? Something went Beautiful flying. Punches now by he both comes hands. back with a couple of good punches. Good combination by Ellis. <laughs> Pardon me. Approaching the end of the contest. Break, 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 the end of this IBF World Junior Lightweight title fight. There's the bell. It's all over. <laughs> and very much. I must say, John, I have to applaud else. them both. I have to applaud them. Oh, you and everybody else in the stadium, Joe. A tremendous performance by both This will go down as one of the greatest fights in Australia. A tremendous contest between Barry Michael, the challenger, and Lester Ellis, the champion. And now it's up to the judges. And it's going to be very interesting indeed. Well, you thought uh, Barry Michael was just ahead in that final round. Do you think, uh, do you think he's won it, Joe? I, I got a feeling Barry Michael may have finished this fight. I certainly think he's um, done enough work to do it, but then again, I'm not the judge, I'm not the referee, or the jury. No, that's right. It'll be a very interesting decision, a very close one indeed. Whichever way it goes, there's going to be little in it. What a tremendous contest. And a, what a courageous pair of boxes they are. Both men are absolutely fantastic. Well, I wouldn't have thought they could uh, fight 15 rounds at that pace, Joe. And uh, still be throwing their punches so hard in that final round. It was, it was quite amazing to see Barry Michael uh, with the, the, the stamina that he kept and the... Uh, this, without doubt, has to be uh, one of his greatest performances of his career. Yes, and they look pretty confident in Barry Michael's corner. Uh, he is certainly looking more confident than uh, Lester Ellis at the moment. Yes, he does, and uh, Lester feels as though he uh, may have lost the title by the sad look on his face. Uh, yes, he does look uh, very depressed, and uh, so do uh, the, uh, the people in his corner over there. And as you can see, Sandy... Sandy uh, Michael, the beautiful wife of Barry Michael, is just as jubilant as her husband. 
scorecard. I'm sure she's as happy as anybody here. could be because her husband did a fabulous job. And He's Sandy, I'm sure, was very proud of him. Frank, well, yes, he Frank, certainly did. The, uh, and what a, a great moment it would be for Barry Michael if he's right, won this contest. Well, the, uh, the two boxers I'm glad now shaking back. hands and they're embracing, and that's good to see. Beautiful. After all the publicity Ladies there's been, after all the things they're supposed to have Judge been saying about each Lepiga other in recent weeks, isn't that great Ellis, to see them embracing Michael, at the end one, of that four, five. Here's the judging. Judge John Wheeler gives it Ellis 140, Michael 147. That's he's two. It. He's won it. Barry That's Michael two of the judges. has won it. The final card from Judge Norm Foster gives it Ellis 139, Michael 147. It's the new world. It's I the new champion. Has done it. Barry Michael. And it is a marvellous thing that has Michael. happened. A unanimous decision the from the three the judges. They've all scored it in favour of Barry Michael. He's the new IBF World Junior Lightweight Champion. And there's the belt. A beautiful, beautiful achievement and a man who deserves it. 30 years of age. He's done a marvellous and a great thing for Barry Australia. Michael. Well, what a dis disappointment for young Lester Ellis. Barry, but he's only 20 Barry. years of age. Don't go away, and, ladies and uh, gentlemen. We'll no be talking to both boxers that, uh, This is not going to end his career. Oh, absolutely not. I mean, Lester Ellis has fought a, fought a great fight tonight, a great fight. But Lester, Barry Michael was just that little bit Barry better. Hill. But he's not finished. He's 20 I'm years old. Honest. And I'm sure I'm he'll be champion of the world soon. Barry's been too good. Thanks very much anyway. Well... In a moment, we hope to have um, an interview with the new Ken, world champion. Obviously, the weight reduction. That, uh, Tim Lane in is up there in the ring somewhere uh, amongst uh, all those people. In fact, there's Tim now with Barry Michael. Oh, Tim, it was bloody hard, mate. I tell you what, that kid is going to go on and do anything. He's got to be one of the hardest punches I've ever fought. He's the first bloke who's ever broken me nose. I don't have to get, I don't have to see a doctor to know I've got a broken nose. Honest to God, you know, it was a hell of a tough fight. It's, it's my dream come true. Look, I knew God was with me tonight. Thank God. Look, I've, I've got to thank everybody. My father, my mother, Ray Styles, Liam McDonald, Leo Berry, Roy Holman, my wife, everybody, Tim. It's just the greatest thing of all time. Look, mate, I just can't express how great it feels. Makes it all worth it. 15 years, mate. It's worth it. Well, Thank tell us your God. story of the fight, apart from uh, Lester's hard punching and courage. Were you in trouble in about round three when he uh, collected you on the ropes at one stage? He shook me very badly. Um, it, it was as, as hurt as I've been, I think, in, in 15 years. He shook me a hell of a lot. I don't think he realised how hurt I was. But experience, mate, you know, experience is a big thing. I think Lester Ellis can go on to be anything, anything honestly. Well, it was uh, retirement for you if you lost, but you've won. What happens from here? I'm not going to answer that at the moment, mate. I've got a few injuries to get over, and then we'll see what happens. Toughest fight you've had? <laughs> It's got to be up there with them, mate. I've had some tough ones over the years, but it's got to be up there with them, I'll tell you. Fantastic, Barry. Great Thank going. Thank you very much, Tim. Well done. Thank you. Barry Michael there, the new IBF world lightweight champion, uh, talking with uh, Tim Lane. And uh, what a delighted uh, Barry Michael it is. Well, you saw it on ABC television. Barry Michael has taken that world championship away from Lester Ellis. Uh, a great disappointment for the young Lester, but what uh, a great year has been for him. He won that title in February. He successfully defended it uh, in April, only uh, a couple of months later. And now, after just a few more months, he's uh, defended that title. And what a courageous performance he gave uh, against the challenger, uh, Barry Michael. He certainly did, John. And I think what is very important for Lester to get into his mind now is that losing is not shameful. To lose is to make you that much better the next time. Well, Tim Wayne is still up there, and here he is with Lester Ellis.
interviewed for the uh, big crowd here at the stadium. And Tim Wayne is uh, still up there. And uh, let's see if he can uh, get uh, a brief interview for us with uh, Lester Ellis. Well, Barry Michael still having uh, plenty to say up there. I think he's a very happy man, and, he, and I must say his trainer has done a marvellous job on him. He's got him into a first-class condition. Well, it looks as if we're not going to have that interview with uh, Lester Ellis. Uh, he's now left the ring. But Barry Michael thanking all those people who have helped him uh, on the way to tonight's contest. Those people who have helped him win the IBF world title. For Barry Michael, this has been a dream come true. He's been up well, he's been after the Festival Hall, a memorable night indeed. I think uh, one that won't be forgotten by any of the 6,200 odd people who came here tonight and packed the place out, forced the doors to be closed 20 minutes before the big fight out got underway, and certainly one that won't be forgotten by the new IBF junior lightweight champion of the world, Barry Michael. From Festival Hall in Melbourne, Tim Lane bidding a good night, signing off for ABC Sport.